This is your nebulizer compressor. It's lightweight, easy to travel with. Make sure you always sit on a smooth, flat surface. Right here is your internal filter. It slides in and out. Check it about every six months, maybe a year and a half to two years. If it looks discolored, call your local provider. This is an electric machine, so it has to be plugged into the outlet to work. On the front of the machine, you should have an on and off switch. The next piece is a tubing that connects to the top of the machine. Just wiggle it and push it on there. It doesn't matter which end of the tubing. After each treatment, make sure you unhook the tubing from the machine. It could melt to the machine, it could break it. The next step is to add the medicine, which you need to make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before doing so. The other end of the tubing is going to go onto the bottom of the circuit, which is the medicine cup. The medicine cup is where you're gonna put in the medicine. You can either twist off the top and add the medicine, or you can put the medicine into the top of the medicine cup. There should be a hole at the top. Of course, the medicine you're gonna use is gonna be different than what's shown here, in which you'll get that information from your local pharmacist and or your doctor. At the top of the medicine cup, we're either gonna use a mouthpiece or a mask of some sort, depending on whether you wanna hold the circuit while you do a treatment, which should take about 20 to 30 minutes. Or if you want hands-free, you may have a child that's using the machine. The mask would be good for hands-free in case your child wanted to play a video game or color a book or watch cartoons. Once you have the medicine in the cup and you turn the machine on, you should see some type of what we call aerosol coming out. It's going to look kind of like a white smoke. That's going to help the medicine get to the patient's lungs. After you're done with your treatments, make sure you go ahead and wash your hands before you clean the circuit. When you clean the circuit, you're going to clean it at least once a day when you're done with your treatment or treatments. What we're going to do is we're going to rinse the medicine cup with water. Then you're going to set on either a hand towel or paper towel, let it air dry, and that should do it. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.